or acting about this axis. That's our Z. Okay. So um, we are going to assume that positive is going in a anti-clockwise direction. Now, for this case, it's not always positive has to be anti-clockwise. Okay. It, 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 you decide okay, whether you want it to be clockwise or anti-clockwise. Okay. Because we are not doing static analysis, we are just taking moment about the axis. Okay. So we are going to find moment about z axis is equal. So the 500 and 250 are in the same direction in terms of moment about z axis. 500 plus 250. Now the perpendicular distance become one inch. Okay, because the distance from which we have drawn earlier. This distance. Right. Is our two inch. Right. Then the 150 is going in a clockwise manner. So minus 150 multiplied by one. So this will be equal to so 750 minus by 150 is equal to 600. Wait, did I do? Oh, it's, it's not two inch. Sorry, it's 1.8. My 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 bad. OK, undo. Pardon me. Uh, so this is. 1.8 inch. Okay, it's not two. Careless mistake made on my end. So basically this is multiplied by 0.9 minus by 150 multiplied by 0 0.9. So this will be equal to 750 multiplied by 0.9 minus 150 multiplied by 0.9. It's got a 540 pound inch. And then positive is going that direction. So now we are also know that this over here, right? Is moment about Z. And we are aware that this is going to be compression. And we are also aware that this is going to be in tensor. Okay. W once you sort all this out, right, you are not bothered whether this formula, right, this is positive or negative. Okay. You are not worried now. Okay. From your moment vectors. Okay. So what we have done so far is we found our P, we found our MY, we found our MZ. Next is A, I, Y, Y, and I, Z, Z. Okay, so we are going to determine our I, Y, Y and I, Z, Z. Before I going on, yeah, Lucia, you're right. I, 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 I should not have got the two. It should be 1.8. Anyone, any questions so far? Are you all clear regarding the moments? Yeah. Yep, I don't see anyone having issue with that. Good. The next bit is to determine okay, the next bit we are going to determine our area i y y and i z z yeah it's, it's, it's nothing new if you remember the rules that i gave you regarding which the width which is the depth this is really really straightforward okay so the area will be equal to 4 multiplied by 1.8. Okay, so for 7.2. And next we're going to find I, Y, Y. So I, I will sketch it out. Okay. So we know that this is our diagram or our structure, right? And then we are also aware that this is our yy axis, right? So this is our yy axis. So anything that is parallel to the axis, 
will be your width. Anything that's perpendicular to your axis will be your depth. Okay. So from here, you will never uh, get mixed up. Okay. So from here, you will know that IYY. Right. So the width is 1.8 inch. The depth is equal to 4, about 3 inches divided by 12. So this will be equal to 1.8 times 4 power 3 divided by 12. It's equal to 9.6 inches to power 4. Okay. And next, we're going to find our IZZ. Okay. So use the same concept that I, I taught you before, which is so you draw your diagram out. And then you construct the axis about the second moment of area that you're going to find. Okay, so for this case, the next one we're going to find. So this will be your ZZ. Right. This will be your IZZ. So any geometry that's parallel, that will be your width. Any geometry that's perpendicular, this will be your what? Your depth. Okay, so now you already are able to find or to determine your IZZ. So we for this case is 4 inches. Depth is equal to 1.8 power 3 divided by 12. So this is equal to 4 times 1.8 power 3 divided by 12. Right. So this is equal to 1.944. Now the, 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 the thing about whether you now, everyone is born equal. Okay, that's my belief. But uh, why some students are better, okay, is they have a feel on whether the value they calculate makes sense or not. Okay. So what do I mean by that? Okay. okay what do I mean by that? How how can you have a feel that you know that you're answers uh, uh, uh you're heading in the right direction okay so i will i will, I will sidetrack and give you an example so we are aware that second moment of area okay second moment of area in Stress x is equal to m moment divided by i multiplied by okay. I'll I'll, I'll specify a uh, 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 an axis. Okay. Okay. So second moment of area in this formula, what does it actually do? So the i z z is the resistance to bending okay. resistance to bending right so you look at iyy and izz does it matters or, or is it correct that iyy should be greater than izz okay so if you were to stand right well if you were to stand down here and jump okay you jump up and down you jump out and down. So you are going to induce a moment applied on the z axis. Okay. Question for you is it easy to induce bending? Okay. Now you ask me, Eugene, easier relative to what? Okay. So now if we were to have the same structure, Okay, we will have the same structure. Now, uh, I, do, I don't know, can I rotate? Or maybe I can. Uh, uh, does not look well when it's rotated. I will, now, it's okay. Now, if we were standing down here now, okay, now we, were, we are standing down here. 
and then we jump up and down in this direction, the axis that we are jumping around, this is the, the I'm sorry, the moment that we are applying the axis, uh, the, the axis that we are applying the moment is YY. So we have we have to use IY. Now question for you all now. Okay, go on, let, let me tidy things up. If I can, too excited to get mess it up. Now, which one will you have a higher deflection? The figure at the top or the figure at the bottom? Which one will have a higher deflection? Anyone. So imagine that you're jumping into a springboard into a swimming pool. How will you orientate your structure? At the top? Or at the bottom? Anyone, please. Or if you can answer me, which one will have a lower resistance to bending? IYY or IZZ? Anyone? The bottom one. Okay, so the bottom one is more resistant or less resistant? Who's here? More or less resistant? Less. Okay, Lucia, it's okay. It's, it's the opposite. Why do I say that? If we were to stand up here and we were to jump up and down, right, the structure is going to have higher, uh, higher, sorry, not, not this way, sorry. If we were to, uh, sorry, if we were to, in IZZ, if we were to jump up and down about IZZ, right, you will have a higher deflection. Right? This is because, oh, maybe you're right, the bottom, sorry, uh, Lucia, you're right, okay? So, you will you have higher deflection. Why higher deflection is because less resistance to bending. Okay. If you were to jump along the IYY axis or or sorry, I cannot say along. If you were to jump in this direction and your moment will be acting about the IYY axis. Okay, you will have lower deflection. And it has a lower deflection is because it has higher resistance to bending. Right? So in this context, if you compare the two value, IZZ is lower compared to IYY, which is higher. So this is true, right? Because IYY has higher resistance to bending. IZZ has a uh, less resistance to what? Bending. So this is the way that, as I say, everyone is born equal, is can you have an engineering feel what you're calculating makes sense? Okay, so that is the difference between an A, a B, and a C student, for example. Okay, now let me proceed. OK, so our values we calculate make sense. OK, are correct. So the next one we are going to do is part A of the question is we are going to determine. The stresses. At. Point A. And we're also going to determine the stresses at point B. Okay. So while, while determining the stresses, what will oh, usually help is this diagram that we've done. So I'm going to copy these diagrams. Okay. So this is our analysis. Okay. This is this is an important part. Okay. So I'm going to bring our analysis over. Yeah. Oh, sorry. I'm being. Okay, so this is our analysis. Okay. 
So I'm going to zoom out a bit. OK, so where is our point A? So this is our point A. Our point A. 